Hi guys, I'm Fire Family here. We are on our about two dozen flock of the Great Loop. So we're finally starting to get this. Uh, so uh, we had a lot of questions about it. So I think it's probably time to bring you along and show you how we get through a lock. Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Hoist the mainsail, here I come. Ain't no room more for the incense. So here we are. Sundance secure at 200 on port side. Uh, approaching a lock, and uh, we're, we're uh, starting to communicate with the lock and the other boats. Uh, each lock has its own channel that they're gonna communicate on. And so uh, we're listening for instructions from the lock master and we're starting to get our boat ready. So uh, we've got fenders out. We prefer to tie up on the port side just out of practice, but we're ready for the starboard side in case we need to change. Yeah, Lena, Lena, lock, are we back far enough now? And so um, we are uh, Jeff, got about five more feet you need to come back. ready with lines and fenders. And uh, we'll take you through each of our roles as we head here uh, into uh, this lock. Okay, places. So tell me what you do in a lock. So my job is to tell Seth uh, how close we are to the wall and how much closer he needs to be and how close I am to the bollard. And then I lasso the bollard and put on a, an S on the cleat. So I like to keep control of the line during the, the lock. All right, we're here on the bow. Madeline, what do you do during locking? I keep the bow of the boat off the wall. Excellent. Mason, tell me what you do during locking. Well, I push against this wall so the swim platform does not get harmed. And with a little bit of bow thrusters, this thing is never gonna touch the wall. Bella, what do you do during locking? You usually cause trouble. She knows something's up, and so she tends to decide that that's when she wants to wander out onto the bow or take a potty break. And I'm at the helm, so uh, in addition to delivering the boat to the bollard so that it can be uh, lassoed right out the window there, uh, I use our bow thruster uh, to keep the bow and the stern uh, parallel to the wall uh, so that we can um, keep the fenders from rubbing on this uh, really kind of grimy, nasty, muddy wall, uh, just so we don't have so much cleanup uh, at the end of the day. Madeline, what's your nickname during locking? I'm Bao. What's your nickname during locking? I'm Stern. We are locking down today. So the water, as we came in, was up here where you see this wet line and uh, the gates close behind us and the water level drops and pretty soon they'll open the gates on the other end of the lock way down there and uh, all of these boats will head out of the lock chamber. Uh, we wait for the uh, horn uh, to signal from the lock master that it's safe to do that. opening. 
dog's ready. Val's ready. Jennifer's ready with the bollard. Stern is ready. So that is how we go through a lock here <laughs> on the Great Loop. Uh, this one was particularly challenging. Our most challenging. Uh, most so far. Ironically. We uh, lost an engine hidden in uh, some computer glitch or something, but uh, it was idling. It was uh, just not going in and out of gear. So uh, powered it off, turned it back on, and is now working. But uh, tying up to the bollard was a little challenging on this one. But, but we uh, kept our cool. We kept our and cool. We totally did it. And we have uh, four uh, hands, sets of hands on board, which uh, we're really blessed to have. So we talked to other uh, loopers that are just a couple or uh, even single handing. Most everybody's a couple, yeah. Uh, our friends on the boat Masquerade have nicknamed our kids Bow and Stern yep. uh, because that's where they are mm -hmm. positioned uh, as we're going into a lock. So um, we are thankful to have them. Uh, we are happily through our last lock of the day, four locks today yeah. and um, three our, our last travel day before this so uh, we are very thankful we didn't run into any delays today it was basically green lights as we went into all four of these uh, which is a huge blessing we have had so many delays due to toes on the um, river here lately because the the water level so low on the Mississippi they're all coming over here and so they it's twice as many toes as normal, the most they've ever had since 1988. So, yeah, yes. But today, no problem, no toes. Yep. Uh, so thanks for joining us. If you have questions about locking, uh, we are happy to answer them. We uh, are by no means pros, but we have had a lot of practice and uh, learned how, um, what works best for our boat. So we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.